Hey guys, hi little one out here. Finally, after a few weeks of not posting and toy reviews, I'm back. This long story short, busted my wrist, couldn't do, 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 do toy reviews, song covers, so on. And also to get out of the way, you may have noticed a new intro. And while, while it's kind of been decided with the new, new intro a while back. I decided that that depending on the video, it have differentiating intros and outros. Toy re toy reviews will have the intro you just saw. Same with song covers. Or uh, I might change it though. I don't know. Uh, every other video will have that intro you saw without some previous videos from a few days back. So so pretty much all. I'll very likely have like three, maybe four different intros and outros depending if I decide to also assign one for, for theories and analysis videos, which is most likely. So, yeah, I might have four different intros instead of one unified one, which at least might help. So, it's to add at least some, you know, differentiating. Is intros and outros for them. But anyways, let's talk about Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Soundwave. Now finally after 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 we somewhat kinda hyping this up for like the two people who voted for him on my poll, he, he here here he is in his in his quote unquote hovercraft of not mode. Now, as many people who have reviewed this said, this is literally nothing. Nothing. Like, like with that toy guy, he literally made an intro segment with Green Goblin. It's being like, as his little hovercraft. Like, which is just funny. But, yeah. Let's quickly talk about some, some, well, his accessories. Not some of his accessories. That being his signature shoulder cannon and his blaster. His shoulder cannon, it, if you got Ravage, is can be mixed with this rocket piece and put into this peg hole. Can create sound waves signature gun it, it would it, you would have saw him have in g1 if anyone watches g1 anymore but yeah and weapon storage on this on his alt mode is less than ideal because the only places to really put it would be on these peg holes here on the sides and that's really it and it doesn't look that good either and some people have actually found a way to create an, a fan mode of this where, where, uh, where pretty much the whole segment here gets flipped and you can pretty much just put the shoulder cannon on right here and boom uh, some cybertronian looking tank ouch ouch this actually at least works as a tank uh, i don't know why they couldn't couldn't just give us this instead of the nothing of an alt mode we got but anyways, let's get into some size comparisons. First, we have all the fellow studio, studio series figure Brawl, who who I uh, who I'll review some sometime soon. Black Legacy Skids, who I'll also review sometime soon. Autobot counterpart. Blaster from, from Legacy slash Kingdom, and I have the handlebars flipped down because what's well, really the point? But besides that, it lets I guess get into the main gimmick. Is that being the whole chest compartment thing? That is that store. It's, it's everybody's favorite to suddenly call feline Ravage. So all I have to do, pop them right in. Simple like that. Close it up and boom, he stored it. And due to this being the hovercraft, 
and, and you can have sound flying around and, and pretty much deploys Ravage Midair if Ravage will come out. Like, it's pretty much deploying him as our ground forces, and, and which would be funny. But anyways, let's get into transformation. And here we have Soundwave in his robot mode. And, you know, obviously, yeah, this is, you know, the, in the strongest part of the figure. Because, you know, it actually looks like something and not nothing like the old mode. And actually, you know, what I don't understand is how come every other cyber... Uh, it's every other Bumblebee figure who's on Cyber Twin actually has, you know, a you know, a decent to actually good alt mode like like Wheeljack, Brawn, even RC has a better alt mode than this. Ooh, which personally I, I don't understand why they couldn't find a way to like make some sort of a some Cybertron boombox or maybe find a way to kinda do something inspired by the war for Cybertron slash fall for Cybertron Soundwave alt mode. But, and, and, but that's just me. I just want to go to size comparisons. Here he is with Deluxe Legacy Skids, who who is going to be an extra abusive. Blaster, who's Who's just about his size, if not like a hair shorter. And Studio Series Brawl, who he was like half a head shorter. And lastly, but not least, of course, here he is with his Minicon Ravage. Personally, like thankfully, his style proportions on this are actually good. And not wonky lie like with the Revenge of the Fallen figure of Soundwave and Ravage. And as shown before, and by converting Scuttle Ravage into his Cybertronic cassette mode, question mark, in his chest, is by popping it open with this great button here. Boom, pop it open, con convert them, stuff them right in there. Boom. And, and you can still uh, add this piece onto the shoulder cannon right here. And to give him is a kind of upgraded like missile launcher, right? like pew pew, bang, bang. And also with his gun too, which is thankfully shaped in, in a way away so where it won't clash on the more triangular looking arm. But anyways, yeah. Bumblebee Soundwave is, you know, it's still a good figure, you know, decent articulation with some above average joints, but again, it's still, uh, this is obviously the strong suit of the figure with the hovercraft being the, the weak, the weak link of this and pretty much making this figure more inferior than superior, but Hey, what can I say? Soundwave superior, alt mode inferior. See you next time, and yeah, we'll see ya.